people, they think the cure and the problem, the fix for the problem is, well, give me more money, I'm gonna be all right. Well, the more you make, the more you spend. Right. If you have no discipline and no structure. Yes, absolutely. Every time. Yes. Every time. Well, just give me more and more. No, the more you get, the more you're gonna spend. And people ain't gonna listen because we are caught up in looking a certain way, living a certain way, trying to appease others who don't really care nothing about you yeah. just to say, oh, I got it. Wow. I got it too and I had it for almost 30 years. I done saved, what, 80, 83% of my salary. I don't need validation from nobody on the outside. That's another downfall. In society, we always need validation and acceptance from others. Don't try to live a lifestyle that you know you can't afford. Right. You can't, you can't, you can't do that. Ooh. All right, so you got a pro football player. It said in the, in the, in the copy there, he flew Spirit Airlines instead yeah. of chartering a jet. And this guy made millions and millions and millions. Yeah. Right. Um, instead of flying Southwest, I'm flying Spirit. Right. I f- mean, fake jewelry, the whole thing. Cause he's like, man, I'm, I, I don't have to tr- prove myself to everybody. I love it. I, I love it. I've been guilty of that. I've been guilty of being in situations where I feel like I have to prove like I belong here. Mm-hmm. And the way to prove I belong is by, you know, having the same the same bag she has, having the same shoes they have. And if you do that, it's like a status thing, but it's so deeply rooted in insecurity. It really is. Like, that's not. And I, I heard him say on another part of the interview, too, like, that's not what gives you your worth. Huh. Like what you can buy. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So I really I mean, I love that. It makes me think of that scripture. One person pretends to be rich, yet has nothing. Mm. And another pretends to be poor, but has great wealth. Mm. I mean, what do you want to do? You want to you want to be fake rich or real rich? You mm. know what I'm saying? And I just I, I like what he said. And this show is a lot about um, like exact ratios and what's the exact percentage before I do this and the ratio before I do this and this. Yeah. And so I don't want to get caught up in the in the numbers here, but saving eighty percent of his income. Yes, he's extreme. He, well, but he's also making millions and millions. Yeah. And I I have been guilty of the he was exactly right. Yeah. I've spent my entire career mm-hmm. my thinking. Well, if I just made some more money, then fill in the blank. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. what ends up happening is my house has gotten a little bit bigger, my car has gotten a little bit nicer, and I and I realized a few a few jobs ago this just never stops until I stop it. The I gotta goal, get off the goal the train post keeps moving every single time. See what right? I did there? Yeah, that's, oh, I see what you did there. I'm well sorry. played, well played. <laughs> so don't try to live a lifestyle you can afford. Yeah. Here's the hard truth of this: it's easy to look at at o- Ocho Cinco and say, okay, he's worth millions and millions. So what we are saying, and I'll say, you can join me or not, if you make $65,000 as a, as a teacher, you've chosen a Corolla life. And that is, okay, you've chosen a Camry life until yeah. you can, like, what is it, the, the, third, the third job that's, that's a millionaire, right? There's engineers and mm-hmm. something else and, Teacher. and teachers, yep, right? That's right. Um, on the list. So you can get there. Absolutely. But you don't get to... Decide well. I I want to have a, an eighty thousand dollars suburban, which no. is used by the way. Right. When your take home salary sixty five thousand, like we have to live relative to the job we make instead of trying to live a lifestyle that we can't afford. I mean, I definitely think yeah. W- for him, saving eighty three percent of his income looks totally different than like you said, a teacher, somebody who's making an average salary. Right. It's not the same. I mean, I I don't save eighty three percent of my income. Are you kidding me? I don't like yeah. you, I'd be wearing a cardboard box right now. So. <laughs> Well, and, and I know there's teachers across the country that just rolled their eyes when I said 65000 Like, I don't know what teachers make making uh, that. Not but, that. Yeah. But it's, it's when you, let me just say it this way. Stop trying to pretend to live somebody else's life. If you've made the choice to have job X or job Y, or it's the only job you can get, that's fantastic. And be so proud of yourself. Be yeah. grateful of the contribution you're making and live that lifestyle. Absolutely. Yeah, you've got to, it, it's, it points to con- contentment. Mm-hmm. And again, I feel like we do have to highlight the ratios because it's a lot easier for him to quote, it's easy to say, oh, it's easy for him to live on 20%. He's got millions. But to his point, the the like we said, the goalpost is always moving. And it's interesting because you're always comparing yourself to what's around you. Like I was watching something, 
I think it was Kevin Hart, and he was talking about, you know, if you're on a, a, a basketball team or a football team, you're hanging out with those guys. They're not all making the same money. That's right. Like, it's a difference between if you're, like, first string and if you're, like, I don't know, like, the sixth man or, like, over on the <laughs> on the sidelines. And we're talking hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars difference right. in pay. Right. So it's like, hey, after the game, we're all going out. Yep. Really? Like, you're not doing what the quarterback's doing. And it's the same thing in our our own life. If I go out with a bunch of folks, it's easy to think, hey, we're all here. Mm -hmm. We can all afford the same things. Yep. And you can't. That's right. I mean, how many times you go to dinner with people and it's like, hmm, well, they ordered the steak, I guess. Well, maybe I'll order it too. Like, yep. And you start changing your, your behavior based on who you're around. You go to work. You start looking at the cars in the parking lot. Oh, well, they're... Well, maybe I need that too. And you start comparing yourself, but you don't know. You don't know their life. You only know your life mm -hmm. and you're the one that's got to sleep at night. That's exactly right. And we often don't understand that somebody's mom passed away and left them a bunch of money okay. or somebody's granddad passed away and left them a house or somebody else is struggling. And that's why they drive that car because they don't care about this de dumb depreciating a asset on wheels. They're more interested in saving yeah. their college funds. We just make all sorts of stories up about yeah. our, our people in the parking lot next to us. Yeah. Stop. And Stop. I, yeah. I just live your life. Uh, all right, let's go to the second one. Um, he has a part two to this. Um, roll it, James. But everybody's caught up in image and looking a certain way and being rich. It's me. It's pointless. You know how hard it is to live like that all the time consistently and be fly every day? Yeah. Jewelry and listen, eras of rappers. Think about the era before before us. Right. Everybody was flashy, stunned, stunned. And after 10 years, what happens? They ain't flashy, they ain't stunned. No, you, you can't. It's impossible to sustain. Right. It's impossible. Oh, I love that he's talking about athletic culture, hip hop culture, because 78% of athletes are losing their wealth within three years. Yeah. And it's because of the culture. More bags, Gucci belts, you know, bottle service, you know, Maseratis, like Bentleys, like this is the culture. I'm so glad that somebody's talking about that, telling us that it's not necessary. This is not what's giving us our wealth. Rappers are not the people who tell us how we have to dress, John. Jay-Z don't tell you what car you have I to mean, drive, okay, John? He does. He, he texted me the other day and told me I should get some new clothes and so.